keeps himself as a bit of a ladies' man. He gets attention from the fair sex, for sure. But he's beginning attention here in IWC for his athleticism, for his meteoric rise, for the fact that he was the first man to qualify for Super Indy 15 this June. He defeated former tech champion Dave Chris. half of the world's greatest tag team, the gold standard, or anywhere in between, Shelton Benjamin, one of the best natural athletes anywhere across the world, he mainly finds his trade in Japan these days, but a rare U.S. appearance because Shelton wanted to be a part of Benjamin C. Steel of IWC Night of Superstars 5. Well, you're welcome for me being out here to help you out again. And I had to say, you know, I had to be out there to see this match. Darren De Niro, young up and comer, been making some way here. This could arguably be his biggest test to date. Also, qualifying for Super Indy 15. Which, Chris Larusso will be the Super Indy champion, so. How can you be so sure? We shouldn't even have the tournament, you're right. I never, how, how did you get that out of my question? I read between the lines. This is too. Very evenly matched talents. I'm very excited to see this confrontation. Both these guys about, what, 240, 250 pounds? I would say about that. Now, Shelton Benjamin obviously has the experience edge, as you mentioned, been all around the world. So Darren Denaire is going to have his hands full. Shelton Benjamin, a, a collegiate uh, teammate, roommate with Brock Lesnar. So... Certainly, he's got the amateur credentials. He's got the athleticism. There's not much Shelton Benjamin can't do. Shelton uh, originally got his big break in pro wrestling as part of uh, Team Angle. Of course, Kurt Angle, Pittsburgh native. Got to wonder if Shelton uh, stopped by visited Kurt on his trip up here. Got some last-minute pointers for uh, the Pittsburgh fans. Well, I'll tell you, when I talked to him earlier, he didn't tell me that. You talked to Shelton? It was a brief conversation. What'd you do, park his car? No, he told me he didn't trust me. I, I, wonder, what, I wonder why. I don't know what he meant by that. Could have been that, that gold-digging look on your face. You know, I'm going to take that as an insult. All right. But certainly no insult to Darren De Niro defeating Dave Crist, former and longest reigning IWC Tag Team Champion in history. That was a major victory in itself for Darren De Niro. Seemed to have a split crowd between the two. Well, Shelton has earned everybody's respect, but it's impossible to ignore and, appre and not appreciate the coming of age, coming into his own, that Darren has had these past several months ever since leaving uh, the faces of change and really becoming his own man, uh, Darren has really come into his own. And I'll tell you, that's something that'll throw a guy off. A bit more defensive of an approach here from Darren De Niro. De Niro is very defensive, and I think that's a smart move because, as you mentioned, he's out experienced. He's not used to facing somebody of the same physical stature. De Niro makes one mistake, Shelton will be all over. And sometimes that's all it takes. And I think, you know, I mentioned earlier the crowd was a little split. I don't think they're split anymore. Well, I think when you look at Darren as a first impression, he can come off as a little bit smug, come off as a little bit arrogant. Our production team agreeing that Darren De Niro comes off a little bit smug. Well, hey, no offense, but uh, so do you. We're not all bright rays of sunshine like I am. What? I'm a bright ray of sunshine. Should I say it a third time? I hope you don't. But Darren's earned my respect. Toured England recently. 
Yeah. You used to go to England. I did go to England. I, I'm familiar with the promoter that uh, Darren went over there and worked for. I believe he was uh, in Prid, England, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he was. Prim or something with a letter or something in it. You know, you think of the accolades of Shelton Benjamin, tag team champion, intercontinental champion, U.S. champion. He's done a lot, certainly, in his time. One world tag team gold in two different promotions, WWE and Ring of Honor. You've been in Ring of Honor. That's, this is not about me, though. It's about Shelton and Darren and Era. Who's your money on right now? Well, it's I'll not about my money. It's about Shelton and Darren and Era. I'll give you three to one odds. Three to one odds. Maybe that's why he didn't trust you. You're trying to take bets on his match. Why didn't, okay, maybe I'm putting my money on him. Bet you tried to get a cut of his uh, purse money, too, didn't you? Ten percent. For doing what? Sitting over here? Well, no, I was going to help him by nice. doing things. What do you know about how to beat Darren and Arrow? That's why you're out here. You don't know anything yet. Well, I could uh, do a something with the thing and the stuff. Oh, not the thing. And the stuff. And I'll tell you, one thing I would tell Darren Denaire to do, which I'm actually very happy to see, he's not rushing. He's taking his time, taking a breather, taking a pause for the cause. He knows he has 10 seconds before he has to get back in that ring. Smart move. I don't think Darren was ever uh, knocked off his feet as quickly as Shelton Benjamin did just a moment ago. And again, Darren is used to being the powerhouse. Think about some of the smaller men we've seen him in the ring with. Some of the quicker men we've seen him in the ring with. But never really a man that jumps out to me that matches Darren pound for pound. Well, that's what you certainly get with Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin, no stranger to high-profile matches as well. So hey, Shelton pinned Triple H once upon a time. That is true. Defeated him twice, actually. Defeated him later by countout as well. So, oh, wait a minute. Uh, we have a request for the microphone. Uh, you know, I think I think Darren De Niro may be getting under Shelton Benjamin's skin here. We'll see. So, it's my understanding that these people paid good money to see the gold standard come in here and do what I do. Gold standard is a state of mind. It has nothing to do with Eric Jr. So, do us all a favor. Stop running around like a little chicken and get in here and take this whipping like a man. Shelton Benjamin not mincing words. And if you're Darren De Niro, how do you adjust? How do you adapt? How do you move forward now? Well, for once, I'm at a loss for words. I mean, he literally just called him on the carpet. I think he's going to have to get the advantage quick. You know, Shelton Benjamin, the man that has, nice on has no problem with long matches. He, he's a guy, really great cardio. Shelton could go 30 minutes if he needed to. So I think for Darren, what he's going to have to do... What he's going to have to do is, is get this over with as quickly as possible. Only five minutes gone by, and we've only seen a couple of uh, bits of contact from these guys. You know, I'll give you four to one odds. De Niro, what? De Niro pulling out of the uh, Larry Zabisco or Lord Zoltan playbook with this uh, stalling. Wasn't that a few years ago? Excuse me? They were here, they did the chicken dance, remember that? Well, there... That was that was Kimchi and Lord Zoltan, yes, at a Night of Legends, the predecessor to Night of Superstars. And I believe uh, Zoltan managed Larry Zabisco one year, so that match probably took forever to get underway. It may still be going on as we speak. Shelton, though, showing that athleticism, and as Darren outside the ring again. Darren has not been able to get out of the blocks thus far. And you know, Shelton's athleticism, it's almost effortless. I mean, he's able to fly, he's able to hold for hold, and we haven't even talked about his amateur background. It's seamless motion. It's fluid. Reminds me of myself. What? Yes. I'm very athletic. Talking about his amateur background up in Minnesota. And again, you hang with Brock Lesnar, NCAA uh, division. You've done a lot. 
you know, just being able to hang with Brock Lesnar alone puts you in a category that not many men are in. Darren back Shelton into the corner. And Darren opening up on the gold standard. And that's what he got to do. You ask me what he's got to do. That's it. He's got to take it to him. So you waited till he thought of it for you, and then you just agreed with him. Well, it was implied. See, there he's got to take it to him. He can't give him a breather. Uh -oh. oh, that's going to happen. Well, Shelton took a breather. Wasn't given to him. For the ride, Stinger splash. Oh, nobody home. Darren had it scouted. That's been a staple of Shelton's offense for over a decade. De Niro knew it and saw it coming. Release suplex into the cover, only one. Veteran instincts by Shelton to get off his back early. And I didn't talk to Darren De Niro about it, but hopefully he scouted Shelton Benjamin. You know, if you scout people, you find a weakness eventually. It might take a while, but you can find one. I think with Shelton Benjamin, you may have to create a weakness. I think Darren's weakness at this point is just confidence in the sense that he hasn't been in a high-profile matchup like this very often. And he's kind of, you know, running by the seat of his pants at this point. Shelton is in his wheelhouse. This is this is home away from home for Shelton Benjamin. See, now what he should do right there is just tuck that, that arm a little bit and just cut off his carotid artery. What? That's what he needs to do. It's very effective. Well, as long as it's not a choke, I'll agree with you. Focusing where the ramus of the mandible articulates with the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. What, the who? What, how, what? Shelton gets to the vertical base. Breaks that leverage that Darren had. Oh, what a spine buster. Shelton, you can feel that momentum shift. You can feel it begin to turn. But Darren De Niro shut things down in a hurry with that spine buster. And you can't let him get that momentum going. That's when Darren De Niro is going to be in major trouble. Well, Shelton the worst for her right now. Darren picking Shelton up just to knock him back down. And Darren is slowing this tempo down, which I think behooves him. Shelton is so explosive, so quick. As the Hall of Fame announcer would say, he's more sudden than quick. And uh, Darren De Niro knows that. And is trying to keep Shelton Benjamin at bay. Well, he's got Shelton off his feet right now. You got to give him credit there. He's got to keep him off his feet. And hopefully he's not above a thumb to the eye or a punch right in the twins. Behind the ref's back. Excuse me? I'll punch you in the twins. Looks like Darren, uh, what is that, a bit of a cravat you may have on? Shelton Benjamin? Some sort of vice or face lock cinched in. And you're not going to get a submission out of this, but you will wear down your opponent. You'll sap the energy from them. And with somebody with the resiliency of Shelton Benjamin, uh, you may need to do that to, because that gas tank is not going to hit E on its own. Well, the problem right now is the fans are getting behind Shelton. You were saying? Uh, well, the fans are getting behind Shelton Benjamin. You know, I don't appreciate that ring announcer interrupting me. I'm trying to do my job here. Maybe I should take his too. You and Farnsworth both. You've had issues with ring announcers for years. I like Farnsworth. Darren De Niro headed up top. High risk. Not normally as forte. Oh, Shelton out of the way, but Darren rolls through. Shelton explodes with a German release suplex. And did you see the height that Darren flew into the air on that? Not just the height, but the angle in which he landed back of the neck. be a turning point in this matchup. Whoever gets to their feet first has the decisive advantage. And uh, battling from their knees. They can't stand, but they still want to fight. And the crowd clearly behind the gold standard, but De Niro to his feet first.
Darren with a welt forming on his back as well. It's been a very physical altercation. Shelton gets the advantage and a huge takedown. Oh, Shelton Benjamin left no room for error there. And you talked earlier about that momentum. It seems that Shelton Benjamin got it going again. Yeah. Darren looked great the majority of this matchup. But Shelton, oh, Shelton ducked the head too soon. Derek capitalizes. Dragon rip. Shelton connects, got it, no. Another staple of Shelton's offense, but not enough to put away the Tinder terrorizer, Darren Hanero. And credit to him for kicking out. We've seen him put away quite a few guys with that. The Tinder terrorizer. Darren swiped left on that pin attempt. I'm hip. Yes, you are. Oh, kick to the face. And that was hip as well. And I believe Shelton's teeth are in the third row. Cover. No. I'll tell you, that was close. A little bit uh, tighter hook of that leg. Or, or if you take your thumb right underneath the jaw. Hey, let me show you. No, right get away from me. De Niro half a count away from pinning Shelton Benjamin. So few men can claim that to begin with. And now, can De Niro muscle him over? Gut wrench suplex. Shelton's fighting it, trying to turn to dead weight. Oh, no. Darren with a, a sledge of the back counters. Shelton uh, uses that power so expertly. Maybe trying to hit the exploder suplex here in short order. As Shelton having trouble getting his feet, but missed Darren with a super kick. What was it I was saying about teeth in the third row? Oh, Darren never saw it come until it was too late. I can Shelton roll through into the cover. To add, no. 15 minutes to a bye. 15 minutes to a bye. Oh, so close. I'll tell you, you couldn't have fit a hair underneath Bobby Williams' uh, counting hand there. Yeah, that's about as long a two as they get. Great reflexes by the official. Great fighting spirit by both these athletes who are putting it all on the line. Here at night of Superstars 5. De Niro caught that right underneath, I believe underneath the jaw, right in the chest area. Very effective. I think he rocked Shelton with that one. Yeah, no matter where it landed, we heard it from way back here. You saw, we saw earlier the forearm battle. I, but Darren taking it to him. This is the gut check Darren needs. If he wins Super Indy 15, he'll have three battles like this in one night. Darren might be going for the, the final payment. That's the biggest man he's ever had in that maneuver. But Shelton rolls through. Oh, maybe he did get some tips from Kurt. Team Angle lives on. Ankle lock submission. And Darren's right there smack dab in the middle. Wait, he's, he's going for the rope. Can he roll through? He does, chop the shoulders, got him No. Beautiful counter, I thought that was it. Look at this. Death Valley driver. And De Niro almost, uh, almost had him. De Niro almost making it look effortless all his own. A tremendous showing, win, lose, or draw. This is a tremendous showing, almost a, a coming out to these people for Darren De Niro. You're gonna owe me money. You are gonna owe me money. What? You're gonna owe me money, you Why? bet. You bet. Well, the only surefire bet was that this matchup had the potential to steal the show, and certainly one can make a very strong argument that it is. What's it going to take to put one of these men down? And you know, De has got to be careful. Those knee pads are down, either by design or by... Uh-oh. Oh, uh, Shelton nips up. Beautiful adjustment. Leaps up the ropes like it's nothing, and Shelton Benjamin... Has hit a third win. Shelton connects. And he beats him.
Shelton Benjamin hits Pater. The gold standard connects. And Darren De Niro is defeated, but not after giving forth the fight of his life. And you owe me money. I do not. Shelton Benjamin, got to get a nice check for his efforts, though. Winners share the purse money. The gold standard, victorious.